Hello again. This is Barbara Langston, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And today I am on day 14 of the Inktober patterns. And today's tangle is I-U-G-O. And I'm guessing that's I-U-G-O. And it's Latin for connect. And it is by Stephanie Jennifer CZT. I will admit right off the bat that I have struggled with making this one look good. I'm going to show you my best effort on <laughs> this one. Um, I'm going to start with the way that she shows the basic pattern in her step outs. And I would encourage you to go look at it, look at some of the examples of what she's done because she makes it look very pretty. I haven't made mine look very pretty yet, but okay. So I'm doing a line, a little bit smaller line above that. And then one more line above that one. So I have three and then I'm going to connect this one here, connect again. And then bring that one up a little bit more and then bring that down. Okay. And then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. Connect. And connect. And now we're going to flip it and do the same thing. So I had three lines here. One, two, three with this one. And this will be my first line. So this becomes my second line. And then this one is my third line. And then here we go again. We're going to connect, connect, make this a little bit taller, connect, and then do the same thing here and here. So that essentially is, oh, sorry, the basic Ayugo pattern. And then I would just, underneath each one of these, add some shading. And that does help. Uh, my problem is getting one of these drawn to where I personally like it. Um, with Stephanie, she has done some beautiful colors in hers. I'm not going to try to take the time to do anything like that. But there is the basic Ayugo, if I'm saying it right. Okay, you can also do it rounded. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Bring it around. So you start out with a little wave and this first one follows it not all the way and then another one. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it and do my second ones. So that's two. And here's three. And now when you connect them, it's going to come off that end and round it. Come off of this one and round it. Same so here, come off. Round it, round that one. Then I'm going to turn it. This one I'm going to bring it around and touch it here. And this one to connect. Bring this one around and round it off. And then bring this one and round it. And then you can add, she shows, Put a little orb. You could put 
some little curves and then fill that part in. Maybe a little curve over here. And then I'm going to turn it and just add. She didn't necessarily do these same things, but I kind of like how that looks. And then I'm going to add another little orb up here. So that one looks better than some of the stuff I've done today. This is actually my very first day of doing this pattern. So now I'm going to add some shading to it. I think I'm going to add a little bit because in Zentangle, we're not worried about direction of light. Let's soften that one. Make it look more rounded, like maybe a rock sitting on there. Soften these. I have to admit, I tried this video earlier and it did not go well. <laughs> I decided to take a break and come back and try again. This looks much better, I must admit. There. So those look pretty cool. I'm liking it better. Uh, another way that she has done it is kind of cute. And she simply did one, two, three, and again they get a little bit smaller. I'm going to bring this one around and connect, bring this one around and connect. I'm going to do the same thing here. Connect, connect here, and then I'm going to take this up, and again, this is an example that Debbie did, and there you have a little heart nestled in there, and I think that's kind of cute. I looked in the Zentangle Mosaic and didn't find any examples of this. And I looked in Instagram and I found one very pretty example by, well, I'm not sure if it was Stephanie or if it was Debbie New. They run a business together as CZTs in Singapore. And um, so. There you go. I think that's really cute. Uh, in her step outs and on her website, she also does it. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to show you part of the step out. And then I'm not going to try to do them because I don't want to do it bad. So here, here's one with a little heart, kind of fat. Here's one where she added inner auras and then filled those in. Here's the two examples, like what I showed you. You can do them more pointed, add more curves. And then she does one that's really flowy. And I really struggled with getting that one to work. And I will show you what I did. And I'll go ahead and shade this one in. So I did similar to what I had here, okay? And I did three 
and then did this coming over this way and then another one in this kind of a curve and then below it I repeated it so kind of a flow but the perfectionist in me is on high alert today and I'm again struggling but I'm willing to show you what I did and how it looked and I encourage you to look at her step out look at her examples and how she has added color which really made hers pop so I'm going to put a little bit of shading below here I'm going to make my little rocks I think they have some shape to them. I'm going to add one more little lazy rock in here. Like I said, so many times things look so much better if you'll add some shading. So here's this. You could possibly put some other patterns inside here. Okay, let's put some shading along the bottom of this one. It has too much here on my desk. So, okay. I'm trying to remember to mention in my videos it would be great if you subscribe to my channel and in the bottom right corner of each video is a link to actually that's a link to subscribe now that I can think of it um, but I do have information on how to contact me if you're interested in other classes I have some classes that I already have on my YouTube channel, but they are for students who have paid. I only charge $10 per class. And if you're interested, I can send you a list of the classes that I have on my YouTube channel that are available. Okay. Not so bad. See, I'm going to calm down the perfectionist in me, and I'll show you one of the first ones that I did today also. And again, it is Latin for connect. Iugo by Stephanie Jennifer, CZT. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope you don't get as frustrated as I did. But... Look, it came out better. I'm happy with it now. Have fun. See you next time. Bye.